Welcome back to the Paranormal Review. I put this up yesterday, but I realized I made a mistake on my recording software, and uh, I only got about this much of the, of the of the footage. So I'm redoing this one. If you've already seen this one, you already know what I'm going to say, so you can skip it. But if you haven't seen this or even seen the whole video because it only showed this part of the screen, uh, this is the redo. So anyways, um, this is called a Sasquatch, Bigfoot, or a Bear. Not real. I don't know if this is just because he's saying it's not real, just, you know, blatantly saying it's not real, or if it's, like, far out, you know, like, not real. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, let's get started. This guy's in a car. He's driving us somewhere to show us a bear or something like that. Um, he explains that a little bit right here. We're not going to watch too much of it. We're just going to fast forward. Um, anyways, he gets on this road called Bear Hollow, and then somewhere along the way, he's going to freak out because he saw something, but I can't see anything. Let me know if you guys see anything. I'm going to fast forward and come back to it, okay? Let's see. Yeah, right here. Supposedly right here you see something, but I, I can't see anything. Do you see anything? Whoa. What, is, what is that? What? I didn't see anything. Anyways, what he's going to do next is he's going to get in his car. Well, he's going he's gonna to gonna drive his car a few miles, and then he's going to hop out, and he's going to pop his drone up into the sky, okay? Now, what I think suspicious about this is he drives quite a ways away. He doesn't He doesn't slam his... If you really saw a Bigfoot in the forest, you would either try to get your camera on, try to film it right here, right? And, and you'd get it on film. Or if you had a drone, you would slam your brakes on, jump out of your car, turn the drone on, fly it over to the Bigfoot, right? Instead, he drives at least a mile or two, parks his car, gets his drone out. And then what's even more suspicious is when he gets his drone out, you can see him flying it up right here. He doesn't have to search for the Bigfoot at all. He, he drives it all the way straight through. He just, you know, he flies it far away, straight in a straight line. But the uh, the creature just happens to be right in the straight line that he flies it right to. He doesn't have to search for it at all. It's just going to, all of a sudden, he just, you know, lo and behold, the Bigfoot is going to appear. And I'm going to fast forward so we don't have to keep, you know, looking for it. I think at this point he's already seen the Bigfoot. Sorry, my bad. Right there. Okay. So he flies it in a straight line, and all of a sudden, right there, what, what, what in the world? Amazing, whatever he says, right? Like, just a really weird reaction. Instead of, like, being, like, you know, like, I don't know, surprised about it, he's just, like, the, the, these words are just very, you know, kind of, I don't know, very corny to me. What? 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 What is that? What is that? Well, that's incredible. <laughs> what? Anyways, so he's going to follow the creature. Um, I didn't notice the first time I, in the first review. I did at the end. There's already footsteps going this direction. It's almost like they filmed this several different times and had the, you know, there's, there's a big footprints along this trail. There's, you can tell there's more than just one, one set. Like they had rehearsed it several times before they actually filmed it, right? I'm not sure if that's for sure, but it could be a separate person going on this trail. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a popular trail. I don't know. What? Are you serious? Here it is again, walking along. This is my, my other critique on the, was if Bigfoot started lumbering around in the forest, I always see people talk about how these just trees are just, you know, I'll see a tree on a video that's about this size, just like snapped in half. And people are like, oh, yeah, Bigfoot walked through there and snapped it in half. Like, like a Bigfoot is going to you know, snap this in half. If that's true, why is Bigfoot trying to get through these bushes so um, human-like? He's trying to, like, you know, push his, squeeze his hands through them, push them out of the way a little bit to try to get through these things. Why doesn't he just snap them in half like he does huge tree trunks that are like this, right? It's kind of weird. What? What is that? All right, now this is where it gets even more ridiculous. The Bigfoot's going to walk underneath. I don't think this tree, but the next tree. Here we go. He walks under that tree there. The drone's going to fall out a little bit further. Also, why is this Bigfoot not looking up in the sky, right? Okay, so... so, so okay, we're going to pause it for a second. Drones are pretty loud. They sound like a hornet's nest about to descend on your face. Like a thousand, thousands of bees are chasing you. That's what that's what these drones sound like. Um, 
And you can clearly hear it in the video. Um, if you're a Bigfoot, don't you want to like, you know, if you hear a swarm of millions of bees coming after you, aren't you going to at least look up a little bit? This this uh, seems like this is a person in a suit that doesn't want to expose the mask that much. Maybe the mask isn't very realistic. So they're going to keep it overhead so he doesn't have to look up. But in real life, when this Bigfoot look up in the air to see, even if you know doesn't know what a drone is, isn't it going to be curious about what the noise is? It's following him around. I I would think so. Anyways, the Bigfoot gets out into this tree. And instead of just zooming out and waiting for the Bigfoot to leave the tree, he goes he takes the 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 the, the drone and starts running around and everywhere searching for this Bigfoot creature. And I'm like, okay, well, he knows it went under the tree. Why is he, you know, randomly looking for it all over the place? And it's it's just several more minutes of it just looking around everywhere without the Bigfoot showing up again. Anyways, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, he obviously knew right where I was. It just seems like an easy excuse as to why the video had to end, right? So in any, in any hoax, there's several elements, right? There's there's the introduction to the creature or the beginning of the video. Like, why are they filming in the first place, right? There has to be a why. If they just turn the camera on and there's a Bigfoot standing there, like, that that could be a why, right? But if... So the beginning's a little bit easier to kind of to work through, right? Because you could be filming something and then happen to see a Bigfoot. Or you could see the Bigfoot and that could be the reason you're filming, right? Then you have the actual subject of the film, the video, where uh, whatever the Bigfoot does or whatever happens in that scenario of the encounter. But then you have to have an exit. And this is the hard part with any hoax, right? Or any Bigfoot sighting is why did you stop filming? Well, most cases that I've seen, which could be a legitimate reason, is that the Bigfoot is really scary and it's going to chase you down and maybe harm you. Or the Bigfoot runs off into the forest and you're, you're not going to chase after a Bigfoot, right? Um, in this case, the Bigfoot goes underneath a tree. There's no reason for him to stop filming. I, if I was there with a drone, I would sit there above the tree or at least try to get lower to try to find it still. Um... And I mean, the only legitimate reason for a drone not being able to stay there would be that it was running out of batteries and it was running low on batteries. So you would return to home. Right. But in this case, he just wanders off searching more forest area for the Bigfoot. So that, that, that doesn't make sense to me um, at all. Why, why not just stay in by the tree unless you're running out of batteries? And he's not running out of batteries because he's still running around the forest with this drone looking for the Bigfoot. Anyways, guys, until next time, please subscribe. Talk to you guys later.